Uh, Do not think that I came to bring peace on earth. I did not come to bring peace but a sword. Verse 35, for I have come to set man against his father, son against his father, daughter against her mother, daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, and a man's enemies will be those of his own household. That doesn't sound very peaceful. Jesus is the Prince of Peace. What is going on here? I want to take this opportunity to make a quick little detour uh, in a reminder, have a little lesson on biblical interpretation. Because one thing that you will see often, I actually came across it as I was looking up, you know, passages about peace and what the Bible says about peace and Jesus and peace and bringing peace and all that, and actually came across, uh, in in this case it happened to be a Muslim uh, scholar who was arguing, but I've heard this from many other people as well, that, you know, Christianity, it's a violent religion that oppresses people. Because look right here, what did Jesus say? He's not bringing peace, he's bringing a sword. Well, I mean, if that's all you read, that actually, he says it, I didn't come to bring peace, I came to bring a sword. So, Jesus, people will say that Jesus is saying and advocating for being violent. Okay, well, um, that doesn't actually seem to match with what we typically hear about Jesus. So how should we understand this passage? What is it talking about? What do you do with verses like this? And so in order to kind of flesh this out, we'll use it as an opportunity for a lesson. Two things that you always want to ask whenever you come across a verse that doesn't seem to maybe quite make as much sense or you're kind of confused about what it might be teaching. Um, Two things. What else did Jesus have to say on the issue? And how did the apostles, the people he was teaching and talking to, who lived with him day in and day out for three years, how did they understand what he was saying? And we can actually get a good look at both. What else did Jesus say about the idea of using violence? Well, he actually said quite a bit. So we understand that sometimes there are odd and unclear verses. We take a look at the more clear passages to help us understand. Uh, We know that Jesus said that you are to use a sword against your neighbor. No, what did he say? He said, love your neighbor. He didn't just say love your neighbor. He said, love your enemies. It makes sense, love your neighbor, but of course, the sword's for the enemies. No, he said, love your enemies too. Bless those who persecute you. Turn the other cheek. So that if you're being reviled and not being accepted, he said to his apostles, shake the dust from your sandals and move on. Whenever he is talking to Pilate and being accused of being an insurrectionist and someone bringing rebellion, claiming to be the king, what does he say to Pilate? My king's not of this world. Otherwise, my disciples would be taking up arms and fighting. But they're not doing that because my kingdom's not of this world. That's not the way this works. Indeed, at one point, Peter draws a sword and Jesus tells him to put it away. Well, how do we see that his disciples would have understood this? I mean, because, yeah, we can pick some things and form a narrative, but how, how did the actual people who were walking with him, how did they receive this? Well, we actually see in the book of Acts and in the accounts of the early church the way Christians put this into practice. They were not violent. Actually, Christians' nonviolence is something of a, a bit of an uh, inspiration to many throughout history. Uh, there are many who actually claim that uh, because of the way the apostles in the early church behaved, that Christianity itself is entirely pacifist. I'm not getting into that at this moment, but the point being, clearly Jesus was not teaching violence. In fact, oftentimes we see the disciples of Jesus, the very men to whom he was speaking when he said this, are on the receiving end of persecution, mistreatment, imprisonment, and they do not lift a hand to defend themselves. So clearly Jesus was not saying and advocating for the use of violence. Okay, well then what does it mean? I mean, because here, you know, Prince of Peace, right? Jesus bringing peace. What does this mean? The fact is that the truth will always necessarily divide that little church on liberty Hill. come praise the lord let your cup be filled raise your voices and we'll sing let god's freedom ring from that little church on liberty Hill. 